are pretty meticulous about maintaining our black and gray tanks and never really noticed much of an odor problem. The only time we got a bad gray water smell was after long boondocking trips when our tank was mostly full of concentrated gray water. And if you don't know what I mean by concentrated, that's what you get when you dry camp for a long period. You use such a small amount of water that the ratio of soap, food particles, and body oils to water is very high. And if you don't think that gray water can smell awful, then you've probably never boondocked for very long. The only time it was a problem was if we were traveling down the highway with a mostly full gray tank and opened the driver's window. That seems to create a vortex that pulls gray tank smell into the RV. We'd read about devices designed to reduce holding tank odors, but we never found the problem bad enough to bother doing anything about it. After a recent trip with a pretty full gray tank, we decided it was time. We'd seen the 360 siphon promoted many times in Chuck Woodbury's excellent RV travel newsletters, and we'd read enough positive reviews that we thought we'd try them out. 360s are designed to create a positive airflow up and out of both black and gray roof tank vents. Installing them was really easy. As a matter of fact, our very first video ever shows how to replace plumbing vent caps. Of course, these old caps create no airflow at all and do nothing but cover the vent pipes. The design of the 360s creates a venturi effect, actively pulling air up and out of the vents. Since air moving across the surface is what makes them work, there are no moving parts. When you're parked, even the slightest breeze does the job. Because they're made of polycarbonate, they're extremely strong and nothing like regular plastic vent caps. Installation is incredibly easy, requiring just a few basic tools. You can use a regular screwdriver, but we prefer our cordless drill. You'll also need a small hacksaw a tube of Dicor self-leveling lap sealant, which every RVer should keep in their toolbox, a putty knife, mineral spirits, and some paper towels or an old rag. We'll use the putty knife to cut through the old Dicor to expose the heads of the screws. Then we'll use our cordless drill to remove them. Now use the putty knife to slice through the Dicor, cutting the old vent cover away from the roof. Our roof is fiberglass. If you have an EPDM or TPO roof, which are commonly known as rubber roofs, be careful not to cut the roof material with the putty knife. Scrape off the excess die core, again being careful not to damage the roof. Now we'll clean off any leftover die core using mineral spirits. With our fiberglass roof, we can use all the mineral spirits we want to, but if you have a rubber roof, Use it sparingly. Soaking EPDM or TPO with mineral spirits could cause it to separate from the roof, so only use a little. Then we'll use our hacksaw to trim the vent pipe down to 5 eighths of an inch or less above the surface of the roof. A small roll of sealant tape comes in the package. Remove the backing paper from the tape and press it into place all the way around the base of the vent. Insert the round collar into the vent pipe far enough to allow the 360 to sit flush with the roof. As long as you cut your vent pipe down to 5 eighths of an inch or less, it will fit perfectly. Using the same screws you removed from the original vent cap, screw the 360 to the roof, being careful not to over tighten it. The holes will probably not line up with the old holes in the roof, but don't worry about it. These are pretty standard self-drilling screws, and they'll make their own holes. If your old vent cap didn't have this type of screw, you may have to pick some up from your local hardware store. Our old vent cap had six screws, and the 360 only uses five, so we had one extra. Now put a nice thick bead of die core all the way around the base of the vent, including over all five screw heads. There's a vent for both the black tank and the gray tank, so simply repeat the process for the other one. We installed each of these new vents in about 15 or 20 minutes. To see if they really work as well as we've heard, we're going to put them to the test over the next few weeks. 
the results are in. We've had our 360 siphon vents installed for a while now, and we can't believe the difference they've made. We didn't think we needed them very much, and now we're wondering if we've been like those cat owners who don't seem to know that their house smells like a litter box. We now realize that the faint odor that occasionally came from around the washing machine was apparently from the black or gray tank. When we boondock for a while, the trap can dry out, allowing smells to get into the RV. Since we installed the 360s, that smell has vanished. Gone completely. We recently dry camped for about a week, filling the black and gray tank with that very concentrated water. So we decided to do the acid test, opening the window while cruising down the highway. For the first time in nine years that we've had this RV, we get zero odor with the window open and a mostly full gray tank. So now we had to challenge the 360s even more by doing the unthinkable, opening the toilet valve while driving down the highway. Flushing while driving our RV creates an immediate black tank smell, so we avoid doing it. This time, we're going to actually open the toilet valve and leave it open while cruising at 60 miles an hour. Here goes. It's pretty unbelievable. We get absolutely zero smell from a full black tank. The 360 vents create such positive airflow up and out the roof vents that nothing can get back into the RV. We couldn't believe it. We're so impressed with our 360 siphon roof vents that we're giving 10 of them away in our newest RV Geeks contest. On Monday, May 26th, 2014, at 7 p.m. Pacific time, five lucky RV Geeks viewers will each win two 360 siphon roof vents, one for their black tank and one for the gray tank. That's a retail value of nearly $300 in prizes. Visit HowToRVGeeks.com to subscribe to our video blog and enter for a chance to win. The winners will be selected immediately after the contest, so be sure to enter by May 26, 2014 and subscribe to our blog to be notified when the winners are announced. If you're viewing this video after that date, you can still get rid of voters in your RV by clicking the link in the video description to purchase 360 siphon roof vents. Best of luck in the contest and thanks for watching.